folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator, where I'm trying to simulate holding a camera out in front of me and driving, but it's not doing too good. There we go. <laughs> anyway, I think the potatoes are ready, so I'm driving the, the Voltra and the big IT runner uh, boxy thing right there behind me, heading over to the potato field, and... Didn't want to start over there because I wanted to show you something that you only notice when you when you drive through here. I drove through here a little while ago and I was shocked at the new trees. This one right here, sticking out in the road that we have almost run over so many times. Look at the size of them. They are growing. So there's all the new trees right there in front of us. Nice. Okay, well let's get back over here. Uh, we'll jump back in cab. So, potato is beyond this road over here by the pigs. So, could jump the tracks, but we did discover that new little road over there by the mill. So, we'll, we'll, we'll go legitimate here. Oink. Don't even want to check to see how, uh, what the food conditions are there. Because I had advanced it a day, day and a half to get to where the potatoes were. I think they're ready. Put it this way, it's green on the map, but it they're gray and brown over in the field. So I don't know which is true. So let's go over there and evaluate this firsthand. And let's see, that's the uh, gas station right there. So just beyond this. And there's a road up in here, right? No, we've been making our own road. Yeah. So that's the potatoes. And they look ready to go to me. Am I wrong there? You know, I guess I am wrong there. That is still kind of waving in the wind, and it just feels awfully gray. I don't know. Let's get over here to the equipment. Um, What side is that thing going to dump on? I really don't know. Let's just spin this guy around and park him off the other side of the road here and we'll figure it out as we as we get to that point. Alright, like so. Alright, I'm gonna turn my speakers up a little bit because I'm not hearing much here. Alright. Are you done or not? That's kind of what they start to look like right before they're done. In real life. I mean they start to die off, the leaves die off and and start to get a little wilted and they're pretty much at the end of their run here but shows dark green okay well let's kick the speed up in fact tell you what let's let's pull the equipment out and we can get up in the air a little bit and then we'll kick the speed up and watch maybe we'll get a chance to see the field actually transition over we don't get to see that very often i'm going to guess these stairs are what we're supposed to do hello roof all right let's get inside there we go all right, what did that say? The Grimmy Tektron 415. Okay, let's pull you this rear steering. That's kind of neat. Boy, almost spins on a dime there. Wow. Where do we start? I think we'll start at this end. Just because I haven't done that before. Uh, let's unfold. What does that mean? Ooh, fancy. Okay, oh, we got the uh, the header popping out here. Yeah, that's the shredder down there. So he'll go down and grind the tops off, and this guy right here in the center will uh, uh, kick the potatoes out in that little screen and conveyor it back up inside and kick the dirt off, and boom, 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 and you've got uh, you got potatoes. That's how potatoes are made. All right, let's get him lined up, ready to go. A little far. That feels pretty good right there. Okay. Right there, turn them off and zoom out a little bit. And let's kick time up. We'll go to... Well, there's max speed right there. Take it to 60. I don't know if it's going to take that long to do it. After this, I think the next episode is going to be the uh, Field 5 Harvest. Get uh, three harvesters going, and probably the same rig over there of the uh, um, of the the Voltra 
tractor and the IT runner to grab the grain out of all three of them and then try to make the run in to the silo, dump it off and get back before all three of them uh, uh, fill up again. This isn't happening, is it? Alright, let's go to 8. I've noticed though when it does transition at full speed, 120 times time, then the transition is so fast you don't get to appreciate it. There have been times when I've just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Wow, it just got dark. Yeah, we've got a partly cloudy day coming in, but it's like uh, oh, like uh, a volcano blew and we've got a cloud of ash coming over us. <laughs> yeah, it's not the right color. Just not right. I don't. Know, how would you? How would you fix that? Let's see. Pop in here real quick. Still dark green. I don't know what it is. Is it because they're still seeing too much color down here, but it's gray everywhere else, or what? But something's just not right there. Can't uh, can't explain it. All right. How long before the transition happens? So some oh oh there it is. So it transitioned this half and then the far half over there. Now if you were let's see we can pop into here and now I don't get the sense of it. Quite often you'll find these half done. You can see a wave of it just moving through as you as you go through. But nope, all green just went to all different kinds of colors of remove tops and and ready to harvest and we are ready to remove tops. Okay, well I guess we get to create a gray episode here yeah okay turn them on and we'll hire it out so we can watch all the moving parts you should see this drop down all those grinding wheels go in and start shredding up the, the tops shreds and throws them back down this is digging down underneath and grabbing all the potatoes dirt's flying off on those screens great demand the sawmill for wood chips well now you do that yeah that was that was a couple episodes ago Oh well, turn you off. And the potatoes work their way all the way back through and up into here. Which dumps off into there. Into our bin right here. And this guy stays out here. Tube zero put it away? No. So he stays out the whole time. Unlike the other one, which would flip out in front of us when we try to unload it. Interesting. Okay. Hop back inside and take a look in here while the our helper is keeping us straight. There's the radio. Right? Yeah. Kind of. I'm looking for a CB, but maybe I'm too old school there. Maybe even uh, nowadays it's all uh, cell phone and and what have you. Hmm. We'll let. Uh, the helper make the turn here just to see how well he he does it yeah take a long time to scroll this thing in all right that was one third okay so we're gonna get down to the end and need to dump it okay it's good to know so you lined up like that and Take off there. All right, let's unhire. Now, if I unhire, yeah, I've got to start all over again. So if I were to hit this button, are we running? I think we are. Yeah, there it goes. All right, we'll run it ourselves for a while. The suicide knob there on the steering wheel. Grab that one hand and spin it around really quick. Which would work in this? You see how it spins on a dime? So it just rotates right in the center of the, uh, the drivetrain there. Which means what? So that's a set of tracks right there is what it's rotating on. That's your middle point. I see. All the weight is concentrated right in the center. It's probably right underneath the storage too, huh? Right for the most part. Sitting on, on most of that. Okay. I'm all over the place. Let's see if, how straight a row gets to be. Can't see your uh, your your capacity the back of this one like so many other vehicles. That would probably miss a little bit there. Now, what would it take for him to make this transition, or the, this turn up here, the uh, the helper? I wonder if we would have to take a headland off first before uh, turning it loose. It's a long vehicle would turn around before those those rocks. 
That's higher. And you didn't hire. There you go. Oh, you were hired. Okay, back up and try it again. Completed their task. Okay, let's go forward and try. There. You're not gonna do it, are you? <laughs> okay. I guess we won't find out. Let's give this whole thing another try. That button, that button. And back up a little. And let's clean up right here. Alright, that one, that one. Are we in the air? No. There we are. Now we're in the air. Now, I need to see where I'm going. That. Yeah, let's go right up in there a little bit. That's about as far as that's going to go. Boy, it takes a while to make a turn, though. Yeah, it does. Gotta go beyond, and then pivot on that center point right there. Not quite, but close. Alright. Well, let's turn him loose and run over and grab the... Uh, um, the tractor and nope, that didn't work. I wanted E. There we go. Boy, it looks like it wants to rain. Yeah, those are rain clouds. So this is our potatoes completely dried and you know tops are dead and ready to to uh, pull the potatoes out of there. Every last little bit of life has been eked out of those leaves. That's the way it works. Now, the... Well, there it is. I'm going to say we should be hitting 80% right about now. The end of this row is 100%. There's the warning. Didn't notice the speed. I'm guessing it's the same six as all the other... Whoa! All the other uh, harvesters. So, three. There. And you're not working, so let's go out a little bit. You like it over here? Now you like it. Okay, and a little, just like so, okay. Let's pull out over here so you guys can hear me. We're ready to stop. Something like that. All right, we'll let him finish off. Dude, what you doing? Oh, you are finished. Never mind. So, one, two, three. So if he goes back and forth, I'm going to have to catch him at the top each time, aren't I? Otherwise, he's going to be in the wrong place. Okay, on the right, on the left. I get him at the end of the next row. That's kind of where I need to be. In fact, where was I the last time? How far away? I were to position myself kind of like this. When he comes down that next pass, no, that's too far away. Oops, let's try the other right. There we go. So if we were to pop in, we sit in like right here. He would pull in, automatically stop and unload everything right into there. Now that, that's true, we gotta figure out where to put these guys, don't we? Yeah. Now I am seeing a conveyor sticking out over there, aren't I? Huh. What would it take to get back over there? Um, he was before this, so shift tab a couple. Right there. There is a conveyor sticking out of there. Let's, um, let's E out of this. looking at that distance. I think maybe I am a little too close still. But that is set up in there. I just need a green on there. I do. I wonder if we can sneak a green conveyor into here. Let's see. I want to tab three times. Four times. Five. Well, that's interesting. Oh, because I wasn't in here. One, two, three. Okay, that's what I want. But I think I'm too close. I think I'm too close. But I wanted to show you this in case you've never seen this before. This is how I used to do a lot of 
this sort of stuff alone. Have him sitting here, and then I'm free to go off and do other things. He'll come by, dump all by himself, while I'm off, well, while I'm off uh, uh, getting that green conveyor, I guess. And then, so really he's got four passes or even five passes to go instead of just the two because he, you know, he's, he's going to dump off these two while I'm already long gone. Then he can, he's got uh, capacity for two to three more. But let's just see what our distance is. There's a full, well, a little bit more than a full pass. This looks pretty good, alignment-wise. I think he's going to hit middle and it's going to spill to the far side. Depth-wise, I'm sitting one wheel past the field. Let's see how he likes that. All right, that distance is pretty good. He's going to pull in here. He's going to automatically stop and dump off. And then we could be all the way back in the field a ways. Yeah, we could be clear back. Clear back over here. And that would have worked. Just to make sure he's got room for his tail swing. Okay. 66%. Huh. Let's position for next time. And next time is, is really after his pass right now. So we got to think about that. You know, it's got to take into account that we're going to lose another row here. Okay. So next time is really uh, about like so. How does that line up? That looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that will that will work pretty good. And then back up a little bit. He can dump into there. All right, so 66, so basically one-third left. So we've done two fillings, and we've filled two-thirds. Okay, that's right there. Let's, let's see, backwards or forward? I want to go backwards to there, and one more. I want to go grab a conveyor. So let's race over there and do that. I just added some fuel to this one. This is one that was cultivating. Or uh, at field seven, where the poplars were. So that's all cultivated and ready for whatever goes in next. And threw in some some fuel in there. Didn't give him a wash though. But he really needs it. Nancy Ferguson here. Uh, hop inside. But this is how I was able to still accomplish things back when I was playing this so much on uh, Farming Simulator. Back then it was called 2013. 15, I think, is the first one where they. They, uh, they pulled the 20 out of it. Made it just 15. Alright, we're going around you. You're a slowpoke. And you're a telephone pole, so let's not hit that one. But, um, was that I'd set the trailer up and then I'd go off and do something, get some other work done, and have multiple fields running at the same time, and, and it was a lot of fun. Stressful, but fun. Let's see, uh, you know, take it up to as complex as you could get it, so that one field is harvesting and I'm dumping you know dumping the harvester while I'm trying to get a sower lined up for another field and a cultivator ahead of him and and uh, kind of fun when multiple fields all pop at the same time let's see if it's possible it may not be you may have to do this in, in uh, stages at least we can get over there and get the thing bought and mounted and then uh, race back over and dump him but to tell you the truth I really want this in place first before we dump the potatoes because I want to make sure that we don't actually get in the way of the green conveyor belt. We're clear. Go for it. I think they line up to cross the road as soon as I get to a certain place back there in that uh, that intersection. <laughs> At least it's not the same two people all the time. All right, so I guess we'll just pop this in over here and park it. And hop into the store, and where would that be? There was a section just for them, right? Right there. Belt systems. Oh, why was the other one green? That's interesting. We must have colored it green. Select. We did. Now I've got it in my mind that that's what it is, so that's why I'm going to have to have it. Yep, yep. All right, you, and then escape a couple times. And let's go load it up. Alright, center is that little guy right there. 
And we're off. Helper F has a nearly full brain tank. We've got to get there. And that's not this road, right? Wait, it is. Oh, we got to get there from there. Now, well, this is probably still the, the easiest way. Otherwise, you got to go all the way out around the top. I need to get right up in here. How do I do that? Yeah, there isn't an actual road, but this is where I want to be. I see it was on the other side of the gas station. All right, so what happened over there? Let's uh, let's drop you off and just head over and see what's going on. Well, I'm thinking you did dump off and you've made your other two rows. So we must have a full tank over here. Nope, you missed it completely. Okay. So we, our alignment wasn't precise. It wasn't correct. Yeah, there's a pretty good distance that it takes. Because it flings it out a ways. Okay. I guess we need to dump at least part of this somewhere. Let's take a look at this. Where can we not get in the way of the smaller belt system? That back corner over there, I guess, would be the route to go. Okay. Now this dumps out a green door in the back, so we we'll don't have to worry about height problems. We we'll do have to worry about hitting that wall. Alright, something like that. I just we'll have to move the conveyor over to reach it again. That's what bugs me. So let's sneak it in at least a little bit closer. Yeah, too close. All right, like up there. Yeah, I like that better. All right, um, it was already set to rear, so it should be I. No, it's Control I. Okay, it is G to get to the very back one. Then control I. There we go. Now, go forward. Do not knock over my conveyor. It gets underneath it instead of piles over the top of it. That's kind of annoying how it does that. It would be nice if it could pile over equipment. But let's go get that guy dumped real quick. Oh. Oh, well. Let's just go get him dumped real quick. He's going to be signaling at us soon. I wonder if he can make this turn up here. Are those beacons? I think those are beacons. Yeah. Don't want to drive through the potatoes, though. No, they're not beacons. That's just uh, my my uh, my monitor here. It looked like beacons. It was just the way the textures were moving around. Okay, well, we'll let him make his turn. Um, green conveyor is not in the way. Good. I'll tell you what, while we're making the turn... Let's run back. I think there's time to do this. Come on. <laughs> We're chasing that little white ball out there in front. We just can't get to it. All right. Hop in. And burn rubber. Spin tires. Speaking of spin tires, I was watching Dagger when play that one called Spin Tires where you're basically driving vehicles through the mud. I don't know if there's much longevity in that game. It looks like it's a lot of fun, but after you've done it once or twice, I don't see a lot of replay. You've kind of, you know, done that. Um, but it would still be kind of fun to hop in one and give it a try. Alright, let's get him dumped for good. And then we go hook up the conveyor, and then we will uh, see about uh, dumping it in. He was 
it's getting pretty full in there. That does uh, dwindle quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. There's no reason my number's not increasing anymore. Well, it is slow little bursts. Okay. Well, I'm going to drive this up to the other end. Because I don't want to do that sprint again. This isn't much faster. There's a lot of weight in here. He's, he's really struggling. Alright, let's bail out right here. Yeah, get this guy into position. Now that we know what you're doing. <laughs> that episode where I was trying to feed the pigs the the uh, sugar beets, I could not figure out which end was correct because we didn't have, we never hooked up to a tractor. This is the tractor end here, right? Yeah. And the other end is the conveyor belt end. I fought that for you know, off camera for a half an hour. Just about gave up before I realized what I was doing. It was one of those head slap moments. Something like that. Actually, let's just drop that off because I want to angle it a little bit more. So, grab you and turn it on and drive it. And we're backwards. Okay. Let's do it from here then. So, forward. Try to turn. Or not. Interesting. Nothing's really turning. Oh, because I've got two X. Now I can turn. Now I can turn. Okay. So I'm thinking up in here. Then let's do a hard spin. Go forward. And a hard spin. Is there enough? Yeah. So can I go any further? Something like that. Get as close as we can. Back up a little bit. There. There. Now, we hop out, jump into Big Red over here, turn him on, and hit Q. Now, let's back up a little bit. Q. There, now we're connected. Okay, that's what I was wishing that I could have done <laughs> a couple episodes ago. And that just... I, I'm glad I got to redeem myself here. That's how the system works. Okay, um... Let's E out of that. Both of them are considered on. I didn't turn off the ignition. So, long term, I wonder if that racks up the, the hours of, uh, of use or something. Don't know. Anyway, is there any particular place to park this guy? I guess for the moment we'll, we'll do this. Let's go and empty everything again. Great demand. Really? Oh, boy. Until I get rid of that, I lose all control, and I didn't get a chance to read it. Okay, turn you off. You're going to keep rolling, aren't you? Who is that? Two great demands at once. I don't remember ever doing that before. So we're up to 303 on the wood chips at the sawmill. And we're, whoa, 1800 for canola, which we have a lot of. Ooh. Huh. Or if we can sneak that in in between runs over there. There's a challenge for us. That's at the Goldcrest Pacific. That's here. That's here. Oh. Okay. Um, what do I want here? Back. That's the Goldcrest Pacific. It's one right over there between here and the poplars. Okay. So we need this tractor to do it. And But I need dump that guy first. And he's kind of in the wrong direction now, isn't he? Yeah. Let's hop out of here. Grab him. And from here I can shift tab three times. We are 62%. We will get to the end. Okay. So we want to dump him. Let's we'll get... Uh, you're not where I want to be. Um, one, two, three. That's where I want to be. Well, I, now I know where red is. Okay. 
you're going to turn, you're going to eventually be lined up over here. So we'll catch you at this end once you turn around. Something like that. Okay. Well, in that case, let's get... Let's see. So back four. Right there. Let's get him on his way. We've got oh, about 30 seconds of driving we can squeeze in here. I could go past and verify that this really is that mill. So we want to come out this side. That's where our, our road is for this area. Yeah. And right across the way is the dirt road in front of the Goldcrest Pacific Grain. Is that the same thing as the Goldcrest Pacific Mill? Did I read that wrong? Goldcrest Pacific Grain. Nope, that's it right there. Okay. So, have you cut through the pig farm? And nearly full. Yep. Spin you around. Get you off the road here. Then we'll toggle back over there. Let's get up the hill here. We'll get him dumped off. Get the potatoes dumped out. And then get him positioned. Ready for the next dump off. Alright, so one. And you're there. And one, two, three. And you're here. Let's get him emptied. So, one in on three, a little closer. Okay, there's a full IT runner width between them. Okay, so memorize that distance. And he's actually a little bit, you know, the harvester is not truly over the, uh, the crops over there. He's on this side a little bit. So it's more than this width. It's this width plus half of a, of a harvester. That's why we missed it. Oh, we're full. Let's go get him dumped. Oh, struggling. 13 miles an hour. Going uphill a little bit, too. Now, to dump these in a way they don't completely disturb and wipe out the, the belt system. That's the trick. Now, how was I going to pick up these potatoes? Did I ever think that through? I was going to go up the rocks right there. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> I was going to go up the rocks right here, maybe. I don't know. It, it looked good at the moment. All right, so... Nope, 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 nope. Alright, like that. Let's dump you all the way to the back wall. Alright, like that. Okay, so we're still in the right one. We are control I. Let's see how far up that back wall we can force that pile to grow. Probably lift us off the ground, too. And we didn't finish. I think we're hitting the ceiling. Can that be it? Control I? No. Alright, we'll do it right here. Control I. Either we're hitting the ceiling or we're hitting a uh, the top height available for the potato pile, but we're not emptying. Well, we emptied that time. Uh, control I. I don't know if we're actually going to get all the potatoes in this bin. We have to go for the parking space for some more of it. We'll see. I guess by the time we spill all the way out to the front, we are about halfway down with the field. Okay, yeah, it'll work. You're doing an awful lot of work to get yourself turned around, aren't you? You're driving right over the potatoes, but potatoes are actually under the ground, so maybe that's not that much of an issue. And right there, and three. Okay. Lot here, so it's quieter. Fill him up. I guess I may as well take him down the length. Just because I need him to come back on that next row so I, I can park this thing. So he's just going to give us little bursts of potatoes for a while. Now, this field did get fertilized. 
wondering, can I pull out and look at the map? That's pretty straight. If I do that, we should track right along. No, we died. Okay. Alright, so this field and... Yeah, we were fertilized. And we were plowed. So we're going to get the most potatoes we could get out of this. Alright, race over here. And noticing the distance. About like so. That's a good swath of brown between the harvester and us. Okay, memorize that. And you're done. Pull off this way, let him go that way. Forty percent filled on the trailer. All right, let's let's see what we can do here. Then we've got to go get the two big tippers and fill them with canola and get back over here. I think we've got to do it twice because we only have a capacity of forty-two thousand and we have seventy-five thousand available to us. May as well take advantage of all of it. Now, distance-wise, I'm thinking it's pretty close to right there. I'm going to go with that, and parking it right here worked, should work fine. Okay, pop out of view and go back four. There we are. Let's go get those tippers. I'm trying to hit that full-grown tree in the road up here. Now, well, mostly grown. He's, he's a teenage tree. Right there. I can almost sneak right through this way. Uh -huh. Do we want this or do we want the warrior? I have access to both right now. The warrior had the bigger engine. He did. Okay. We'll, we'll swap tractors. There's our little road here. I would just leave you parked this way. All right, forty miles an hour down the down the field here. I wanted the other side, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Here, watch the tongue sticking out. Two tongues sticking out. And big tippers and straight axle first. And then dolly second. Or fixed axle, I guess that's a better way of saying it. Right there. Swim back around. Something like that. Here you are. Now on canola. Let me verify that before I do a dumb thing. You are canola. Right there, Pacific Gold Crest Pacific Green. Can I make this turn? I think if I cut it in really tight, I can line us up here. Really tight. Alright, so R and twice over and start. One for 21,000. I don't know if the other trader's going to get under there. And you're done. So if I do this and then do that, will that help? Eh, not really. Let's do that. And then what is it like? It's like this. No, it's not. But I bet you it'll take it. R. Nope, we missed. All right, let's just go this way. The only way that I know is guaranteed. So we got to get back over there. Now, do I... I guess I already have that trailer selected. So I answer that question. You don't have to be in the trailer. You just have to be in the yellow zone. Alright, canola, start. Alright, looking for 
442. There we go. Let's get back over in that area, then we should be seeing 80% full on our tank here pretty soon. Potatoes and beets make a lot. A lot of product. So they fill up the harvesters fast. I just got to thinking. If I had called them just potatoes and beets from the very beginning, I would have never got the sweet potato mix-up going on. Beets is so different, but sugar beets and sweet potatoes are pretty similar. They all start with an S and yeah. And the graphic is that that's what confused me from the very beginning. The graphic looked like the sweet potatoes that I'll buy in the store. Am I seeing four miles an hour for real? I am. This is the biggest engine they sold for this one. Hmm. But he'd be even he'd be having even more trouble if he was the one pulling the, the IT runner and we used the Vulture out here. Although there isn't that's this steep of a of a hill over there. So maybe it'd be about the same. But I was impressed at how much growth. We're probably looking at four or five game days now since we planted these. Maybe maybe a little more. We didn't wait quite a while for those poplars. Maybe we're a week into it since then. Of course, in a week you can have several harvests go through, so that's like a, you know, several years worth of worth of uh, crop time. All right, so this guy goes over here. I don't think I've got time to dump him, though. We can get him into position. Now, where is here? I think it's these loading doors right here. Uh, this gravel road? This gravel road, okay. I'm going to guess this is it. But let's stop right here and tap over. And Oh, we're, we're sitting good. But while we're here, let's whip in place and, and uh, get this filled. Or get this emptied. But it worked. He dumped off. And we were able to continue working over there while he continued his thing. We can catch him before he gets to the end. He will stop and wait for us. That should hit close to 100%. No, he was only 45% in his hopper. Okay, but let's go dump this because he can't handle another one. Alright, let's creep up this hill. That doesn't seem as slow from inside here. What a dirty cab. Do I dare? I could try back or pulling into this from in cab. Yeah, I think so. I think I can see enough around me. Especially when the shed's this big. It's different when we were delivering the wood chips because that was a pretty small opening. All right, so if I were to do this, that gets me the right direction. And what's happening over there? Yeah, I did just spin 360 degrees. <laughs> uh, let's go a little further. Like that. Now, I can't see where that... All right, I think I'm kind of in the right place. Can't tell my depth, though. That's probably pretty good. Let's control I. See what happens here. Should see the green belt just start to ra rise and flip around and oh, you are so finicky. What if I were to back up into there further? Drive up onto the potatoes. Control I. Let's get it as high up in there as we can. Don't you get stuck in the roof now. And now you're happy. Well, what's that all about? You had no problem with the. Peeking out up there. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's just park this guy over here. Even though it's not going to be a full row. Or two full rows. Distance is right about like that. Let's go dump off that grain. Yeah, hopefully that's enough. Right in a little further. Right in there. All right, so shift tab four times, five times. That's right. We're in the uh, 
We're in the warrior now. Okay, so we need to use the doors. Alright, so that is... Where am I? I'm the back one. So, back side. Green door. G. Green door. There we go. Tab. And we're on the front trailer right now. Okay. Whoa. Time out. Where's that name? I can't go any further. Goldcrest Pacific Grain. But do you see the flashing on the little mini map? Goldcrest Pacific Grain. That's what it was called. What's the other one called? Uh, map. What's this guy? Goldcrest Pacific Grain's there. Then what are you? They're both called Goldcrest Pacific Grain. At least the, the building model is. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm not going to risk losing all that profit on a typo. Well, let's whip out to the other one. I want to get back to that million dollar mark. Oh, I saw... <laughs> There's a knob on the arm of the mirror, the left mirror over there sticking out. And it was tracking that road perfectly, blocked by an object, as if that was a car heading in toward us. So I guess I'm just going to leave him blocked by an object. So I want to... Let's go get this done. Now, what is this guy called? He is the... He's a green building. Gold Crest Pacific Green. I'm confused. I am. Is this a loading dock? Looks like it. Right there and I. Okay. Well, hopefully we got the right place. No, 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 don't you stop. That's interesting. Yeah, my tractor went out of the yellow, but the whole trailer was still in there. Hmm. You know what? Let's, or can I? Can I shift to the other one while it's happening? I can. Let's take you to the whole green door. You to the whole back. Because that just took forever. Right there. And you. You didn't work. I. There we go. It doesn't like shifting over. It did that to us before at the train, at the the mill where we load up the train. I shifted to the back, and it still stayed at the green door. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it would not have had I completely exited the building and did it again. But there's 37,000. So 1,800 times 4,200 liters. 1,800 per thousand? Oh. How does that math work? It's not working in my head right now. Do we get the right place is kind of what I'm wanting to know. Um, let's head up here. Just pull off right here. Like that. And one, two, three, four, five. Ah, we're doing a funny little turnaround thing here now. Okay. And we're going to back up some more. Okay. So now I can't easily do that. Just leave it at the end because he's turning around funny. Uh huh. Well, we'll try one more time. Alright, something like that. Let's back up a little bit. Maybe that'll help out. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to grab a calculator. We had 42,000. So 42 times 1,800. Of course, that 1,800 may have changed as it dumped. That gives us 75,000. So, did I do something wrong? It says it wants to go right there, and that's where we went. Back at 13. But they're both called Gold Crest Pacific Grain. In fact, this said Gold Crest Pacific Grain too, didn't it? Um, all right, let's look at this another way. Gold Crest Pacific Grain. That's where we dump on the train tracks. But there's three different places that are called Gold Crest Pacific Grain. Interesting. Well, let's try dumping at the other one. And we'll see if there's a difference. But... Either I did some funny math, or I'm not holding that shift button down. That's what went wrong. Right there. Or we got jipped. I don't know which. 1,800 per thousand is what I interpret this working out to. We have 42 thousands. So it should have been almost twice 42. That's where the 70, what did I say, 75, 75,600 dollars or monies of some kind should have come into there. I think it's dollars. Interesting. So the game's using funny math on us. Or funny maps. One or the other. Let's go fill up one more time. Wow, that was quite a bump full speed. Yeah, we've done this corner full speed before. Four hundred and wages for the hour. We're pulling this direction this time. Looks like this episode's going to go a little bit long. That'll be fine. We'll go ahead and squeeze all this in here. Here we go. Start. There's 32 left, so one and a half of these. So 32 times 18. We should be bringing in $57,000. So what I say? We had 32 left? Yeah, right there. Okay, let's get him back and go dump off potatoes one more time. And do we take him to the other gold crest grain? We could. Let's see if there's a difference. Go to the one that I wanted to go to originally. Now I'm hitting that... Well, actually... Like 55 minutes, maybe? I started my timer a couple minutes before I got going. Usually around the hour mark is when this game starts to lag on me. I'm curious to see if it happens this time. I kind of think that that is a temperature thing on the video card. The video card gets warmer and warmer as we go. And somehow rendering video... When, only, only when I'm rendering, or we're not rendering, but when I'm recording a video does it go wrong. I can play this game for hours and hours by myself, and it never lags. But add the recording to the the, uh, the, the load that the processor and the, and the video card are under, then that's, that's what, uh, what does it to it. But I was recording this a lot during the summer, when the studio was... 90 degrees, you know, or I have the door closed now, and after an hour of sitting in here, I can finally get it back up to 69 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're, we're fairly cool in here right now, so I'm hoping that means that I've got an hour and a half before I start building up too much heat in the computer, I don't know, we'll see, you're going, we're going to go here this time, 
Let's not do it yet, though. I want to. I want to think about something here. So let's turn you off and let's see. Shift, tab. Well, that didn't work. So we're just gonna go around the around the block here. Yeah, we get to see all of it. You are sitting here waiting for him to return. And the turn worked last time. Okay. Well, let's just put you in position. Something like that, and we're going to stop short. Okay. Stop rolling. And... There. All right. So last time we got thirty-seven thousand dollars from it. We had forty-two, and okay. So thirty-seven thousand divided by forty-two equals. So we got eight hundred and eighty per thousand. We got down you now this rate per thousand. Hmm. Denton Bakery. So we'll see what we get this time. It should be, I believe it's per thousand, so it should be 18,000 per 32. And we have 32,000 right now. 32 times 18 equals. Yeah, we should be getting $57,000 out of this. Unless I, wait a minute, did I read that wrong? Did it give me just the second trailer's worth? What would that be? 21 times 1,800. Is 37.8. Oh, it gave it to me in two trailer, a trailer at a time. That's what it did. And I didn't see the first figure came up, come up. So I figured that it was waiting to add them both together. So we did get the right amount. We did. I'm going to get back there. Although I would like to know, hmm, if they're all called the same, does it matter which one you go to? That one, I, that's an answer I don't have. Clear that way. Clear that way. Ah, I'm getting laggy now. It just started. Okay. Well, we'll see how much more of this we can get done. Or maybe I'll just pop out and reset and get back in and finish the episode. Could do that. Yeah, we can make this a long episode. There's only a couple left in the series and we're done. So that'd be fine if it runs over an hour. Alright. Plowing in here. And, yeah, getting pretty laggy right there. Aye. That did work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter which trailer's selected. Well, you look at that. I'm selected on the back trailer, and the front one's doing its thing. <sighs> Interesting. So, just whatever's over the yellow lines is, is, is what it's looking for. It overrides everything else. All right, so this should be 37,000. And we got 37,000. Okay. I didn't see that up there in the corner last time after the first trailer. Because I didn't see that, I thought that maybe it was going to add them together. Yeah, we're green dooring on both of them. Hmm. Okay. So we're back over a million dollars again. All right. Let's stop this right here. I'm going to reset the game, and I'll meet you right back in a moment. All right, we're back. Reset everything. All the lag's gone. And just left the, uh, uh, the warrior and the two tippers over there, because we've got to get this going so we can get this finished. Though, tell you what, i I got to be out here to do this, but we could go grab the... Uh, cultivator and get to cleaning this field up. Yeah, that would work. Oh, that's a little bit close. Let's see if I can finagle this here a little bit. Now, I'm gonna... There. Ah, close enough. Okay. So let's let him get to the end there. We, oh, we're 91%. We gotta go dump this. Okay. We'll get this dumped. Um, yeah, we'll take Red back home. Uh, Massey Ferguson. And, oh, that was the, uh, 
that was the warrior. We take that back home. Grab the cultivator. Yeah, we'll grab the cultivator with red. Because the weight's already on him. Yeah. Alright, let's dump this one in front this time. Something like there. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, what do I want here? Control I. Didn't like that, huh? G. Control I. There you go. Yeah, okay. Go forward a little bit and do that again. Keep creeping out. Keep creeping. Keep creeping. And ram it back into there. And creep out some more. And we're so close. Okay, so let's do something like that. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, now you're going to go all the way up, okay? There you go. And you're already on your way back here. Yeah. Alright, let's just position for the next run. We'll go take care of that. Alright, distance. We're somewhere like that. And we're back a little bit like that. Alright, so tab, tab, tab. Tab. No, we were back tabs. Right in there. Let's just jump into this one. We'll do that. He's already got the weight on him. Let's make this happen. Like, I just brought the cultivator back from the poplar field. If I thought of that stage, I could have just left it there. Oh well, this tractor was almost out of gas anyway, so it needed to be done. Maybe we don't have to plow it again. This plowing is not a happy thing in this game. <laughs> this time, let's go kind of over the top through the forest so we can see all those trees from a different side. Go by the gazebo. No, that, that wasn't a gazebo. What was that? Like a ranger's tower. Think of a fire watch. Yeah. Interesting how the sunshine kind of shoots through rays that are hitting the glass. Nice effect there. I should use that turn up this way a little more. Alright, so let's go around this side. We've got equipment on the other side start to see those trees off to the left that we planted. Right down in there. Uh, these guys right here. Yeah. So, I think, I think they've grown further since we started the episode. Ah. Okay, let's get over there. Going full speed around the big farm. I'm sure nothing could go wrong. Alright, we want to be on the dirt road just this side. No, we got to go around completely. That's right. we got to get over through here. Blocked by an object. <laughs> Let me guess what that object is. <laughs> Oh, well, he'll just stay blocked for another couple of minutes. Clear, clear. Pull across from here. And... Best route is up here at our new uh, little shed up here. Right through here. Yeah. Alright, so X. Get that unfolding back there. You can see it in the mirrors. Pull in like this, and higher. There we go. And tab once. Nope. Oh, that's this one. Okay, we need the Voltra. So you are out over here. Okay. Excuse me. 
Or what are you doing? You're doing that. How full are you? Let's uh, get up here and look inside. He's empty. Okay. So he emptied out. I've got 28%. So, yeah, I should be able to sit here and, and empty him out again. Like so. Yeah, that's a little too far away. A little closer. I like that. Now, if I were to back up a little... I could back up a little bit more. Maybe you can make that turn this time. Okay. So I want to get back to... Let's see here. That's tab five times. Right there. Let's put him away. Yeah, this should be about time to finish off that field and just kind of walk around and look at the final results. Now, what harvester should we get for our third harvester? In fact, let's, let's peek at that. I'm going to tap through here. All right, we've got the Massey Ferguson, the 9380. And a great big header way over there. And we've got this guy, the uh, New Holland uh, CR1090. And it's big header. So I'd like to get a third big one with our million dollars in the bank. And a header and have all three of them tackling Field 5 next episode. Probably start one at this point, one at this point, and one at probably the one-third mark here. So he'll go up, hopefully, and meet right here as this guy comes around. We just got to make sure he doesn't turn the wrong direction as they're heading into this third. But if I can get them successfully doing the third marks, then we should be able to run the uh, the Voltra and the IT runner uh, cargo dipper thingy that we're using right now between the three of them. And we could just dump them straight into here and not, not save it. That might be the route to go. We'll just sell it off as we go. Yeah, that might be it. So we've got the uh, the Massey Ferguson and the New Holland. And if you uh, want to chime in on your favorite harvester that isn't one of these two, then let me know. I've, we've got uh, quite a few to choose from up at that top end. I know we've got another... Uh, um, what's the brand of the, the little red tractor over there? Uh, draw a case. There's a case up there. There's one other brand. There's two other brands up there, I think. But if you've got the game, if you've got one that's your favorite, otherwise next time we'll we'll look through the shop, see what's available, and uh, we'll make it happen. So let's tab back over real quick, and let's watch this happen. This is what's been happening all the time we've been away from here. He pulls in, lines up, dumps off. Yeah, we were in the wrong place. <laughs> Okay, trying to give him enough room to do this little maneuver. But there's not a tree in front of him this time, so he doesn't have to do that funny little maneuver. Hmm. Okay. I wonder. Let's... Where was he again? He's a... Tab, tab... No, shift tab. Right there. He's at 54%. We can dump him out there. Him. He's hanging out the other side. He may have enough capacity to come all the way back down again, I don't know. Just in case not. Let's just top him off. Yeah, right there. How's our alignment? Let's come this way a little bit. And let's, it's going to be noisy, but I'm going to sneak in there. And we're going to watch his operation. Let's see, i got to go this way. i got to try and steer while I'm doing it, though. I'm not good at that. Right in there.
cut him off, make him all kinds of angry at us. No, he turned around. Okay. So we'll catch the last of this when he gets to the end, and we'll go and dump this. We are there. We are. We're cultivating over there, and I can take it all the way to the end this time. Not worried about just turn around. Something like that. That's probably too far, and I'm a little too close. Uh, this way. Yeah, I'm a little too far. So a little this way. Yeah, more is better. All right, like so. Okay. So waiting for him to do that. Got him going. The other tractor. I think he's still over there, but he'll be fine. sitting here waiting for the animation to end and I think it's stuck <laughs> we have got a boatload of potatoes there <laughs> I think we better give it a little bit of a hand there huh yeah um, turn you back on now you got to the end there now he's happy all right, well, I think that is a potato episode. Yep, yeah. it's been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll harvest Field 5 next time. Bye-bye.